Stocks rallying today with all three major averages gaining more than 1%. It is just the second time this month the S&P 500 has posted back-to-back -back days of gains. So as we close in on the final trading days of the year, are more green hours ahead for your money. Uh, let's uh, talk to uh, CNBC contributor uh, and Ritholtz Wealth Management CEO Josh Brown uh, about that. Josh, uh, look, uh, this year's taught us uh, not necessarily to look at every 1% bounce and say that the, the trend has changed. We're only bouncing off the down 20% level of the S&P 500. But, you know, if the year ended today, uh, what, do you, what are you telling folks? What have we learned? And what do you expect to continue or be different uh, about 2023? The number one thing from, from our perspective is don't change the rules during the course of the game. And, you know, we, we've talked before about the difference between gut instinct-based investing versus rules-based investing. And there are people who are really good at gut instinct. So I don't mean to take anything away from that crowd. I am not. I learned that already in my 20s. So I don't need to relearn that in my 40s. Rules-based investing puts you in a box, but in all the best possible ways. And I think a lot of people uh, were successful this year. They might not be green on the year, um, but they're not down the 19% the S&P is, or even the 14% that a 60-40 portfolio is, um, because they utilized rules that keep them yeah. from being fully invested into a downtrend, for example, in our case. And other people have different strategies. But the worst thing you could have done this year was say, oh, no, this rule doesn't apply because blank. Russia invaded Ukraine or right. once in a lifetime inflation spike or excess liquidity or whatever like economic thing you follow. Like to me, when I and I hear stories all day from pros, like, you know, who got wrecked, who's doing great, et cetera. One of the consistent themes of the people that are fine coming out of the year and ready to rock next year are the people that stuck to what they already know works despite right. all of the superlatives and wacky stuff going on in the markets. Yeah, I mean, that absolutely makes sense. And by the way, we do have micron numbers coming in. We're going to get to those in a second. Um, but, Josh, you know, when we're talking about the more immediate setup right here, it's not all the rules can be right, so to speak, right? Inverted yield curve, the way it is right now, means recession is coming. On the other hand, high and declining inflation and midterm election uh, years, the year after one, they're always positive, right? Uh, and the market doesn't bottom before recession starts. So, in other words, you have all these conflicting supposed rules of thumb. Uh, we've been living with recession yeah. fears and inflation threat for months on end. Where does it leave us here, S&P, just under 3,900? All of those rules are so tough. I'll, I'll give you another one. I was talking to Tom Lee about this yesterday. Um, earnings usually bottom 11 months after the stock market. So you hear a lot of people come yeah. on CNBC and they're like, oh, the, the earnings are going to be the big story. Okay, but it's going to be like a year <laughs> right. before they bottom, and stocks will probably not wait for that. So here, here's, a big, here's a big rule of thumb, not really a rule of thumb, but just like a, just like a truism. And I know yeah. you know this, but for our audience, especially our younger audience, a lot of conversation that we have is about this, this number came out good, this number came out bad, earnings are going to be bad, um, inflation falling is going to be good. If, first of all, if you get shocked by a recession next year, I'm going to go ahead and yeah. assume that you've spent, you, you spent most of 2022 living in a cave. And the big thing is expectations. So we don't yeah. care about what's good, what's bad. All that matters is, is it better than feared or expected or worse than feared or expected? And so well, Josh, that's where we have on. room.